Welcome back to The Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast, and today we are going to be talking about half-speed mastering, exactly what it is and what it means. Enjoy. Imagine this. You are in a machine-filled room for hours, all alone with a pair of headphones strapped to your head. You're listening to music, but it's unlike any music anyone else has ever heard. For one thing, it's slow. For another, it's monotonous, and the words are unintelligible. You glance at your watch. You have three more tracks to go. You came in early, and you'll be lucky if you're home before dinner. After that, bed. You know full well these sounds will haunt your dreams, and they'll be waiting for you in the morning. Now, everything I just said isn't a Lovecraftian thought experiment. It's a day in the life of an audio engineer creating a master disc at half speed. Half speed, you ask? Why would anyone put themselves through that? What's wrong with normal speed? Well, nothing. Nothing is wrong with the normal mastering process. It's a skill that takes years, well, to master. Life does move fast these days, and we are urged to slow down and smell the roses. You notice more when you pause for a moment to take a breath. When you walk instead of run, when you lift your attention from the cacophony of images on your phone, sit down and watch the clouds go by. That's the same with music. I don't mean slow music. I mean slowing the mastering process down by half its normal speed to let the music breathe. To make a record, you must first craft the master disc. And to do so, a machine lathes cutting head engraves the master sound source onto a pure lacquer disc. And this lacquer disc is then used to create the stamper. And that'll be sent off to record plants to press the sounds into vinyl. Now, when you think about it, it's a pretty amazing technology. So much so that it hasn't changed much over the last century. Besides the master source, once the lathe comes into play, an engineer from 1955 would recognize everything being done from lacquer disc to press. I only call out the master source because engineers seldom use analog master tapes these days. And that's not because of quality. It's a question of preservation. Tapes deteriorate over time, especially after repeated use. And to delay this degradation for as long as possible, a high-resolution digital source is created and sent off to the audio engineer to cut the master disc. With the master source as the guide, the lathe cuts a groove into the lacquer disc. And the slower it can do this, the more accurate the representation will be. Too fast, and the intricacies will be lost, as will any hopes of a decent-sounding record. And too slow, there's a danger the cutting head will quote-unquote catch the lacquer and ruin the disc. Engineers settled on a rotation speed of 33 and a third revolutions per minute. What if, someone asked, we gave the cutting lathe a little more time to do its job? Let's say instead of the 33 and a third RPM, we cut it in half. That might avoid ruining the lacquer disc and result in a more accurate representation of the source material. And this is how the half-speed mastering process was given birth. By slowing the master source, and the cutting lathe down to 16 and 2 thirds RPM, the cutting head can cut a very intricate groove with more detail. More detail provides a better listening experience. The first cut is truly the deepest. So why not do this with every record? We all want better sounding records and engineers definitely want to produce them. So why not cut all records at 16 and 2 thirds? Well, two words and I bet you know them without me even having to tell you. But I will. Time and money. It all goes back to money. Imagine you're a record executive and I came to you with a brilliant new idea. I say, hey, Mr. Executive, we found a way to create even better sounding records than before. And all we have to do is tell everyone to work slower. How slow? Well, right in half. Won't that result in half the records produced? Well, yes. So, half the annual income? Uh, yeah. He thinks, and you know your dreams are about to be crushed. But then he smiles. Let's give your idea a shot. 
but not all records. We'll create special runs of half-speed masters and sell them to collectors for more money. Maybe a couple times a year when we can afford to do it, and it doesn't negatively affect our commitments. And thus, a new and wonderful product is born.